Hi, gang, it's me. Just remembered something very, very, very important that I can't even believe that I forgot. I mean, everybody forgot about it. Anyway, I was looking at my calendar to make sure that I do everything, like go to the beauty parlors and get my hair done and bring my library books back to the library. So I look at my calendar one more time again just to make sure I don't bring my library books to the beauty parlor or wash my hair at the library like sometimes I always do. Anyway, so today I saw that today is Dave's birthday. And later on in the show, we're going to have a giant surprise birthday party for him and everything. So now that all you kids know Oh, that today is Dave's birthday. Don't tell him! Uh, hi, Dave. Dave! Steve, hi! Hi. Uh... I'm fancy meeting you here, Dave. <laughs> yeah, do you think we could get started here today? Just... Why, sure, Dave. Anything you say, Dave. You're the boss. Okay, come on. Let's go. Oh, the oh, oh, looks good. L. That came out nice. Little man. Oh, come back. Today we'll see a flea circus from Bulgaria. K N Presto. Long train. Oh, and we'll show you how not to be a grown-up. Broken. Good. Yeah. Cut it out. We'll meet the world's greatest bodybuilder. And another one. And oh, good boy. And we'll visit Dave's house and even meet his mom. And cut it out again. Ah, looks good. It's out of control. And now here he is, the man whose feet are so fast he has to get fire insurance on his sneakers, Dave Coulier. Up, uh, Dave Coulier. Well, look, could you open the curtain, please? Just wanted to help, Dave. I know how you hate it when, when somebody opens the curtains too soon and, and everyone sees you don't even have an announcer. Well, thanks, Waldo, but I really don't need the help. I can make a fool out of myself myself. Uh, why? Uh, welcome to Out of Control. Uh, let's just get started, shall we? We have some exciting guests on the show today. From far off Bulgaria, we have the scratch em off flea circus. And we also hey. have another... Hey. There's going to be a show today, believe me. Dave, yeah. you know that 20 bucks I owe you? Ah, uh, sure. Well, I can't pay you back. <laughs> but I want you to know, if there's anything I can do for you today, anything at all, just ask. I'll okay. do it. Okay, do that story on bodybuilding. Dave, do I have to? I could always get Angela! Okay, okay. But do you mean the uh, Dr. Frankenstein, Igor, bring me a leg, or I need a brain kind of bodybuilding? No, not that kind of bodybuilding at all, Hearn. I mean the kind where people lift weights to flex their muscles, and they pose just like this. <laughs> Oh, you mean when people do this? Uh... No, like this! No, like this! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Bodybuilding. I'll get that story just for you, Dave. Oh. Hearn Burford, out of control. Bodybuilding. Gold's Gym. Bodybuilding is a sport. It's an art. It's a fine science. It's not Dr. Frankenstein in some dark basement somewhere sewing together a bunch of spare parts. You know, there's a lot of stupid people out there that think that. And if you're one of those stupid people, cut it out. Uh, excuse me. Um, exactly what is bodybuilding? Bodybuilding is a way to make yourself look better, feel better, perform better physically. It's a whole way of life. Basically, what it is is who can develop the most perfect body. And uh, who has the most perfect body? Franco Schwarzenfrigno. Definitely Franco Schwarzenfrigno. Franco. Franco Schwarzenfrigno. Excuse me. Um, could you tell me what it takes to become a great bodybuilder? I would say discipline. Discipline is coming to a gym every day to train even when you don't feel up to it. And uh, who would you say has the most discipline? Franco Schwarzenfrigno. Franco. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, exactly why are you into working out? Build mental character and strength. And uh, who would you say is the strongest? Franco Schwartz and Ferdinand. No, that's what I thought. Frank, where that? Frank. <laughs> You're the Mona Lisa. 
You're the best. You're the tower of pizza. You have to be in this business, Hearn. Tell me, Franco, what makes you different from the other guys? Well, Hearn, I always wear a one-piece outfit. You know, some of these other guys walk around practically naked. Franco, if you don't mind me asking, what's the secret to your success? Well, Hearn, the secret to successful bodybuilding is always use socks to stuff your muscles. Never use T-shirts. T-shirts tend to bunch up. I see. Uh, could you do me a favor, Franco, and give us a little demonstration to maybe pump some iron for us? Oh, sure thing. <laughs> Franco? for out of control in the wake of a legend. Hey, thanks for that great story on bodybuilding, Hearn. <laughs> to help you get started in bodybuilding, the whole crew of out of control has donated their socks, but uh, I'd wash them first. Anything you say, Dave. <laughs> Anything you say. Boy, Hearn sure is being nice to me today, isn't he? Hey, Dave, I've got a secret telegram for you. Oh, that's great. Let's hear it. Well, it's a singing telegram, but now remember, parts of it I had to keep secret. Are you ready? <clears throat> sure. Mm -hmm, Dave. Mm -hmm, Dave. Mm -hmm, dear Dave. Mm -hmm, Dave. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> that's just the beginning. Ready? <clears throat> How are you, Dave? How are you, Dave? How are you, Dave? How are you, Dave? I'm fine, but everybody else around here is pretty weird. What we need is a mature attitude around here. So why don't we watch this on how not to be a grown-up? grown-up is serious business. Every day, millions of grown-ups wake up to face a whole series of exciting challenges. And you, yes, you can be a grown-up if you follow this simple routine. Grown-ups like to look neat, so start each day with a shave. Plenty of lather and a sharp razor make for cleaner cuts. To look like a grown-up, you have to dress like a grown-up. Grown-ups wear long clothes. And hard shoes to get ready for their long, hard day. And grown-ups wear hats to keep a lid on those important ideas. Grown-ups travel fast because they are all heading for the same place. The freeway. Grown-ups need patience and a good vocabulary. The place that grown-ups are in such a hurry to get to is called work. At work, grown-ups must be organized and efficient because they know that is the only way to get things done. Grown-ups don't like to eat fun food because they know the importance of a well-balanced meal. And grown-ups never drink stuff that fizzes, except after their well-balanced meals. At the end of their busy day, grown-ups unwind by enjoying cultural activities. But when they wake up, they'll have to face being a grown-up all over again.
Brush your teeth. Stop watching TV. Put that down. You'll cut yourself. Watch it. You'll poke your eye out. Stop that. You'll catch a cold. Hey, I'm not finished yet. Everyone, look, I I'm fine. I I'm okay, everyone. Really, it's, it's okay. Stop. Stop. I I'm Are you sure, Dave? I I'm fine. Believe me, I'm... <laughs> I'm okay. All right, next from his home in far-off Bulgaria, the flying Walendas of the insect world, the Hugo scratch -em off Flea Circus. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> Here's Hugo. Hello, Hugo. Welcome to Out of Control. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> but the real stars of the show... ...are the fleas. You mean to tell me they're in there? Hmm. Oh, yeah, listen to that. They're vomiting up? Yeah. Have you always had fleas? No, I used to have elephants. Well, how come you got rid of them? It was too difficult to get them in this little box. <laughs> in this music box are the flea orchestra. They play music and are stars of show. Huh, they're, you know, they're kind of hard to see. It was magnifying glass. Oh, magnifying glass. Oh, here we go. A magnifying glass. Incredible! Now, first, the daring young fleas on the flying trapeze. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's great. What next? Next, tumblebugs. Tumblebugs? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the grand finale. The flea cannonball. The flea cannonball. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready here. I... Is, is the cannon? Right, I, I'm gonna help you here. It trained flea. Into the cannon, all the way to the end, I give propulsion and you catch. Okay. Children, do not try this trick at all. <laughs> My flea, I have swallowed the star of the show. I have swallowed a very important bug. All right, everyone, go, go, freedom, you're free, free, leave, leave. Is there anything you want me to do for you? Oh, no, everything's fine, Diz. Um, uh, maybe you could scratch my back. Uh, speaking of backs, we'll be right back after this. Ah, uh, no, a little higher. <laughs> This, what are you going to get Dave for his birthday? Hmm, I don't know. Well, maybe a life-size picture of me. That's a good idea. I was going to invent him something. What about this? It's a left-handed lizard grabber. But all his lizards are right-handed. Oh. Well, how about a right-handed lizard grabber? He already has one of those. Got one of everything. I mean, have you seen his house? No. What is it? Why? Watch this. Hi, you know, we get a lot of letters on the show asking things like, Dave, what's your house like? Or where do you live? Or what kind of stuff do you got? Well, <laughs> Jimmy, I'm going to come over there and sit on you. Well, why don't we go on in and take a look around and check out some of my stuff? Come on. Well, this is it. This is where I live. As you can see, I'm kind of a pack rat. I save a lot of stuff, like this. Dave, honey, is that you? Good morning. Hi, Mom. Uh, who are all these people? Oh, well, this is the camera crew from Out of Control. Remember I said they were coming over today? Oh, if I'd remembered, I would have worn my good white rollers or tidied up or something. Well, Mom, we got a lot of stuff to do, so I'll be on the other side of the house. See you, Mom. <laughs> Am I on TV? I've always liked music. I've always liked collecting weird musical instruments. This is a weird one. This is a flugel in. 
Okay, and I like the flute, too. And the... Let's see, what else do I have here? I have a trumpet. I like the trumpet a lot. Everybody likes the lead, lead guitar players, right? this too. Dave, what's that racket? Wow, here. You're such a strenuous child. Okay, Mom. All right. This is where I do a lot of weightlifting and working out and stuff, and there's a few things you have to remember when you are working out. First off, you have to keep your arms out like this and bob your head a lot just like this. Also, you have to make sure that you talk really tough just like I'm doing right now. I usually work out about 60, maybe 70 hours a day. I usually lift weights, just like you see right here. All right. <coughs> All right. Uh, uh, this part of the house is really good over here. We call this the Dorothy room. He said something. He said oil can. How's that? Better? You know, I've, uh, I've won a lot of trophies, as you can see, and, uh, well, I got this one just for having a pointy head. <laughs> goala, 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 goala. I got a lot of math. You never know when Halloween's gonna come around, right? Dave, honey, where are my glasses? I can't find them. Oh, thanks. These, these aren't my glasses. Where, hey, honey, where are my glasses? Where are mine? Well, I'm really glad that you got to stop over my house and see what everything looked like. And now that you know where I live, I hope you stop over again sometime. Dave, honey, are your friends gonna stay for dinner? Ah, uh, what are we gonna have? Um, Brussels sprouts and tongue. Ah, uh, no, I think we're gonna go back over to the studio. I'll see you over there. <laughs> huh? Huh? Hey, Dave, I finished writing the script for next week. You have? Ha ha, that's great, right on time. Something different for a change. And Dave, I've got a new joke I've been saving for a special occasion, and I want you to have it. Ha ha, that's terrific. A new joke and everything. How do you shoot a blue elephant with a blue elephant gun? How do you shoot a pink elephant? Well, I don't know. You hold his nose till he turns blue, then you shoot him with your blue elephant gun. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, oh, cut it out now. Come on. Oh, qu you're too kind. Quit it. Quit it now. Oh, come on. Uh, Gary, what are you doing? Well, um... I was only trying to help you out, Dave. Well, Diz, now cut it out. I don't know what's going on here today. Uh, and speaking of cut it out, here's a lesson for you adults in how to take a shortcut. You better watch this. Adult education, where kids are the teachers and adults are there to learn. Good morning, class. Good morning, teacher. Today we'll be talking about shortcuts. Does anybody know what a shortcut is? way of getting from one place to another. Wrong. It's the shortest way, not necessarily the easiest way. Watch this short film. When taking a shortcut, let nothing get between you and your desired objective. Is it true that the hypotenuse of any right triangle is equal to the square root of the sum of the other two sides squared? You're in the wrong class. Computer programming is down the hall. What about obstacles? You go over, under, or around. What about barbed wire? Is it worth ripping your pants to get to dinner on time? Depends on what's for supper. <laughs> There's the bell. Now for your homework. I want you to go home from here the shortest way possible. And remember, no sidewalks, use alleys, and watch out for that dog. Hey, buddy, does it matter which road I take to Kansas? Not to me, it don't. Oh, 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 o
Fields, are we doing anything special for Dave's birthday? Special? We're planning a giant surprise birthday party for him and everything. Oh. We're gonna have streamers and balloons and potty hats, noisemakers, and even a birthday cake. An excellent birthday cake. I only want the best for my Dave. I mean, our Dave. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Maybe I could do the Let's Eat segment, and then I could show everybody how to throw a birthday party. Oh, perfect! <laughs> Now, to start a party, you should always have little snack foods for people to nibble on. See, something like these. They're very light and crunchy. Hmm, is this a mint cream? Well, a mint flavor. You see, these are little snack crackers with toothpaste on them so that you can eat and brush your teeth at the very same time and your mother won't even be mad at you. And then, of course, we'll need... Decorations! Decorations! Whoa! 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 Oh, look at, these look at these balloons! I love the pink one, the yellow. Hey, look at See, when you have a party, you should always start with balloons and streamers. Then, line a clothesline up all around your house and hang up the brightest laundry you can ever find. And that way, it'll brighten up your house and you can dry your clothes at the very same time. It's the birthday day! Yay! Oh. It's a birthday cake! Then you decorate your cake with your favorite little toys like a banana, and here's a scary dinosaur, and maybe a gross thing like this right here, and then some children dancing right on out of control. Now, when you have your birthday cake, always make sure that you have enough birthday cake to go around in the party. I figure you should have 25 pounds of cake per person. And then you put on candles, and however old they are, you put on that many candles. And now it's time for the birthday boy! You know, it, it's too bad we decorated in here and the show's in the other room. Oh, that's right. Well, everyone on the show was being real nice to me there for a while. But now that the show's almost over, where are they now? Right. Stop. It's not my birthday. Yes, it is, Dave. It says so right here in my very own calendar. Oh, Diz, that's next month. You mean I've been nice to Dave all day for nothing? <laughs> Why, you... Oh, I didn't mean to... I gotta... <laughs> oh, Dave! I'm sorry that had to happen, Dave. Hey, you can't oh, do that to a television yeah. star and get away oh. with it, Bob! <laughs> You should wear that every you know, day. Maybe you can get too much of a good thing. Like birthdays, for instance. Once a year is enough for me. So we're going to try and get this mess cleaned up, and you can join us for our next show when we go in search of a dog with antlers, and then we find the discover of burpless soda pop. See you next time. Oh, you got it. Well, no one asked me if I wanted a piece of cake. <laughs>